Hello, it's Minisode 16 and today we're talking about uh, basically what makes a ride good and what makes a, a ride bad, in quotation marks. Yeah, so everyone likes different things out of their rides, you know, some people don't want airtime hills, other people they want a lot of force. So that's what we're talking about, we, we're talking about not only what makes our perfect ride, but maybe try and come up with some things that make a perfect ride in general. Mm -hmm. We've asked for your answers to what you think makes a perfect ride, and we'll go through some of those later. Um, but let's start off, Zoe, with your perfect ride. What, what elements for you does a ride have to have to be considered a perfect one? Well, it's not necessarily perfect, is it? No, no, just no. Just like good. Yeah, well, what do you like in a ride? Uh, I don't know why I didn't think about this before. So, as we know, or listeners will know, um, I rate rides based on, like, how much I laugh when I'm on them. So that's one thing, is, like, it has to be, not funny, but, like, it has to make me laugh. Um, and then, I think airtime is one that I really like. That's probably my favourite, like, sensation, or whatever you'd call it. And then, just, like, well-paced, so it's not really random. I don't like it when it's all randomly mm. paced. And I don't like rough rides. So basically, a smooth ride with loads of airtime, good pacing. Um, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. What about any particular seat or train that you prefer? Um, Do you like to be over the sides of the track or above it or below it or over I, the shoulder? I'd, I'd like to be bar? on the top of it. Yep. Not underneath. Yeah. Uh, not to the side? Not. To, uh, I can take to the side, but okay. not bothered. Yeah. Uh, I like the new seats where it's just a lap bar, but it's really comfy. Yep. I will not have a seatbelt, please. Yeah. No seatbelts, because that defeats the whole object of those seats. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what would you say come, what ride would you say comes closest to your ideals of a good ride? Well, obviously Helix, but without the seatbelt. Yeah. Remove Helix's seatbelt. Well, the seatbelt isn't as bad anymore, because it uh, doesn't. That's true. It connects to the restraint. That's true. Doesn't go over your lap. So it's not the lap seatbelt anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he looks... But what, there's what? other rides that are, that are also good rides, as I would say, so, like Boulder. Yeah, so you take Helix. Yeah. How would you make it better? Uh, just throw it a couple more airtime hills. Yeah? What, what the same kind of similar style yeah, airtime yeah, hills? Yeah, 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 just a couple. Yeah, just a couple more. Is that literally it? But there has a lot already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just add more and that would be it. That's, yeah, that's it. You wouldn't make it any faster. You wouldn't add any more elements in. You just thought, nah. Nah, some more the, hills, you know? I don't know what elements are happening. So yeah, okay. adding an element in means nothing to me yeah. unless there's air time involved. Yeah. yeah, couldn't tell you what I'm doing. But yeah, like not it's not just that kind of ride that's like good because I like things like Wicker Man, Boulder. Mm. Um, what else do I like? See, there's things like I I think Smiler is a good ride. But it doesn't tick the things I like specifically. Yeah. So there's rides where I'd say, yes, that's a good ride. But it's not personally like my favourite kind of ride. Well, no, this is it, right? There's a difference between things that you like and things that is generally deemed universally good. good. Yeah. So. I think also like theming on a ride is something that, that I'd say we would say is, makes a ride good. But mm -hmm. I don't think universally people would agree. That you have to have a theme. Yeah. I think less so... I think it, it can be universally agreed that a build-up makes a ride good. In a, in the pre-show? Well, not a pre-show, but just some general sense of build-up and anticipation to riding. Before you actually before sit you, down. Before you get on the ride. There's a, a build-up and, and you're excited but nervous about getting on, you know. Okay, but Something is that just... Something that builds ambience and... But any ride can have that. It doesn't have to have a theme. It's just because the ride looks scary. Well, not necessarily looks scary, but the way that it interacts with the terrain or the way that uh, the queue set up. Right. So you're looking at the ride and it's making it build hype. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like when but you... But not, it's not like effortful or like no. purposeful. No. Yeah. It just happens to be like... But Pretty intense. That's, that's, the smile is a good example, uh, even though it's themed. If you stripped away the theming and all you had was the ride above the queue and the soundtrack, yeah, it would still build that anticipation. Yeah, okay, I get you. That's what I mean. That I think that really makes a ride better when you 
are anticipating and, and you build up suspense and you know all of this plays on your mind before you even get on mm -hmm. i feel like when you do get on you experience a, a better payoff yeah i don't know if others feel the same way about that i just found i that, feel like no yeah <laughs> but this is one of my things with wildfire there just wasn't that mm. i didn't feel anything so getting on it it just felt like it could be because you couldn't really see the ride from the queue well i don't know i really don't know what it was maybe it was just me that day but yeah you know you could see part of the ride you could see the big drop thingy yeah I, yeah, it just didn't do anything for mm. me. There was no real anticipation. Anyway, I think I think most people will agree with a lot of what you said in terms of what makes a good ride. You mentioned airtime. Everyone loves airtime. Airtime is the best. Probably everyone loves airtime. How the, can you not love airtime? Well, the question is what type of airtime. I know people. Some people like the ejector airtime, like on Terran, on not on Terran, on Helix. Yeah. Some people like the more floater airtime on the B and M hypers, where you're not flung up and out of your seat. You just kind of hover. Yeah. Other people like an in-between. Some people don't like sustained, but like pops of airtime. You know I'll what? take all of it, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in the airtime camp, I feel like... Uh, this goes generally. I think a good roller coaster needs a range of forces. Mm. So I'd appreciate airtime hills that are not always sustained ejector like Helix is. Mm-hmm. I'd appreciate a mix. Yeah. So some hills that are a bit slower, but a long sustained bit of floater airtime where you're just hovering out of your seat. Mm. Another hill that's quick pop of airtime. Another hill that's sustained ejector, so you're constantly being thrown up. Mm. You know, I think uh, when, when it boils down to it, roller coasters are essentially just differences. Well, it's acceleration, right? Every turn, every drop, every hill, every inversion, every element is just accelerating you in a different way. Mm. And without having those different kind of forces, it just becomes a bit mundane, right? So so you'd like it to be spiced up all the time? Yeah. I don't want it to be just the same. I don't want a 360 degree helix, even if it is an intense helix. Yeah. I don't want it to last 10 seconds because it's boring. Yeah. The whole point is that you're swapping direction, changing, things are moving all the time and and you're feeling different forces all the time. So for me, a roller coaster has to have that. I think that's one thing that I would predict you'd say is that it has to be chaotic. Well, this is it. Which I've is said, essentially what you yeah, just said. Yeah, I've said it many times before. Yeah, a chaotic ride is a more fun one. Mm. When you can't always predict how it's going to feel and whether you're going to It catches get... you off guard. Exactly, and it makes it fun. It makes it more fun. Yeah. And... Sometimes that chaos is inherent in the ride. Sometimes, like, a wooden coaster is just generally more chaotic mm. than a steel equivalent. Sometimes it's just because it's a crazy layout. Um, but, yeah, no, for me, a good ride must be chaotic, uh, which is why, you know, some rides don't rank as, as highly for me because mm -hmm. they're just not... They're too predictable. Yeah. You know? But even then, I'd say Helix is semi-predictable yeah i would agree but it still ranks well so as you said not every ride will tick off everything that you like in a ride yeah but, but it's, it's still, still good. good exactly <laughs> it's still good okay what else then well for me it's another obvious one is inversions yeah uh, i've spoken about it before okay well, okay let's ask this so you love inversions what's the ratio of inversions to non-inversions that you should have <laughs> non-inversions is everything anything else though isn't it yeah like but I i'm saying what's the percentage of inversions that a ride should have let's just say the inversion to airtime hill ratio okay let's do that is one to one i don't know one that. to one yeah okay no i i don't think it really matters about how many you've got they just need to be well placed okay as i said before so if there's two are you gonna cry about it no as long as they're like really good yeah my okay. favorite roller coaster has one. Oh. And it's at the end. Really? Yeah. You can't even see it. Okay. But this is it, like, yeah, it's weird to think of. I, I like inversions because when they're well-placed, they do a lot. I think Karnan, which is what I'm talking about, has a lot of elements that are very close to inversions. Okay. In their design. Is this the thing we just spoke about before, about how it banks really hard? Yeah. Essentially, it banks really hard, and the whole element after the first drop is essentially an inversion, but a non-inverting version of it. Okay. So, um... Yeah, it, it, that's just a weird ride. But 
Yeah, and a well-placed inversion, slow heartline roll, uh, dive loop, zero G roll, they're all perfect in the right place. Mm -hmm. Way better than, just, you know, some crappy helix or whatever. So, a well-placed inversion, definitely. Does it have to have a theme to be good? Um, it doesn't have to, but as I said, I think that build-up is a big part of it mm -hmm. for me. So, if it doesn't have the build-up, there's something missing. Right. I think the build-up boils down to a soundtrack. If you've got a soundtrack, mm. that's like 90%. It's very easy to create a build-up. Exactly. Helix, no problem. Yeah. Smiler, no problem. Carnet, no problem. Taron, no problem. You yeah. know? It's just... Put a call into I'm a score. Yeah, it's literally. Sorted. And then you've got your build up, but yeah. Okay, quickly, let's do what's bad. What makes a bad coaster? Um, see, most people are probably going to say roughness, right? A bad coaster is rough. Okay, I wouldn't say roughness generally. I'd say rough to the point of I want to die. So things yeah. like Colossus. Yeah, because if I'm thinking in my head, I want to die, this is so rough. Like, it, it's actually physically hurting me to be on this ride then how is that a good ride? I think there's a difference between roughness and being uncomfortable. Okay. And it's being That's uncomfortable. That's true, okay. That Uncomfortableness or just pain generally. Pain, yes. It's normally it's down to the seat anyway. Yeah, of course. If you have a, if you put a lap bar on Colossus, it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. Yeah, probably. because you remember um, how I cried when we went on, when we went on, uh, what's that one at Disney? Thunder Mountain. Uh, Big Thunder Mountain. No. no. What's the one? What's the space one? Space Mountain Mission Space two. Mountain, right. Yeah. The old restraints. Were awful. I cried. I did not like it. Yep. Literally, it actually made me have a headache. Yep. Every time. And uh, when I went back on it with the other the restraints, trains, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It was possible. This is it. it. It does make the world of difference. Yeah. So the, the restraint is a really big part, but I definitely agree. Uncomfortableness. Yeah, that's a no-no. Is a big no no. Uh, what else makes a bad ride? Repetitiveness. Repetitiveness, I was about to say that. Which another one Colossus suffers from. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put a, probably a weird one that some people won't agree with excessive hang time, which is another one Colossus suffers from. Yeah. Don't like that. Who Who is enjoying that? People. No. Is that a thing? Hang time, right? Snippets of hang time. Perfect. Yeah, especially like, when you go quickly. No, no, but what I'm talking about, a slow heartline roll. One, nice. You get that nice bit of hang time. You you feel like, I've done that now. Yeah, okay, that. I know what you mean. Because you, ca you come out of it and you're like, yeah. oh, that was kind of uncomfortable, but, but, but I've but forgotten it, cool. it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, move on. It, when you have to do it again and yes. again, and you can see the next one, you're like, oh, yes. my God. So, sustained hang time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Snippets of hang time spread throughout the layout. Sure. But mm -hmm. sustained hang time, I think, doesn't make a good ride. What else we got? Um, a very long queue. Well, it's just general. <laughs> isn't it? It's true though, isn't it? It's just general. I uh, don't know. I don't think there's a lot that makes a bad ride. That makes it bad. No. There's a lot that makes it okay. Yeah. And like, like average. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it is pretty much just down to those two: repetitiveness and, and being uncomfortable. Mm. If you've got a ride that avoids those two it's generally going to be a good one yeah so okay let's read some um opinions some opinions let's get to the juicy juicy bit i think most people are going to say the same thing here we got a lot i of hope people. so yeah we did get a lot of replies it's clearly an um, issue that everyone's um in on so let's start with a bit of a one that goes against me renzel nut says most people think that inversions make a ride good but i highly disagree Inversions are great if they're well integrated into the layout, but you need a decent layout um, too. A combination of inversions. Oh, so literally what I said, right? I didn't expect that. <laughs> so there you go. So they want a combination, a just combination. not just inversions. Well placed integrated inversions. Jojo Hendrix says good rides need to be rather smooth, especially steel coasters. Bad rides are rough and boring. I agree. <laughs> Somebody who loves a smooth ride. Yeah, well, I don't think a good ride needs to be smooth. I don't think it needs to be smooth, but it certainly will help. I think a glass smooth ride can be a little boring when it's glass. <sighs> okay, I know what you mean. You mean like the swarm or something like that? Because then it loses the a bit of that chaotic edge. Yeah, which makes it fun. But but I think he means smooth as yeah, in like not, not rough. rough. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, Joseph just goes out there and says, a good coaster 
has the hold experience. And I, I would agree, if, if you're looking for the best of the best, I think the whole experience from being in the area to joining the queue line to getting on the ride, mm. all is part of a quality coaster. I actually love this answer, it's the best one. I can't say their username, it's like TNT X Man or something. Um, they said, Freedom. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Isn't a really that good the one. best answer? It is, it is a really good answer. So, definitely. Freedom. Trains that are open and exposed, much better ride. Yeah. Much better ride. That's such a good answer. Because it's just, again, it lends to you feel like you're going faster, you feel like the ride's more chaotic, you, you feel like you just feel more. Also, you just feel more in control. I wouldn't say so. No, you but, feel more in control. But you feel like more train. like. I feel like you're the, the one. No, but okay, let me explain it better. <laughs> if I'm on something like Colossus where it's quite rough and mm. it, it's uncomfortable, I feel like I'm in a machine right, so that yeah. is like processing me in yeah. some way. <laughs> if I'm on something like Helix, mm -hmm. it feels like I'm riding the train. Yep. It doesn't feel like the thing is like eating me or whatever. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I do know what you mean. Um,. We had quite a lot of theming makes a good ride. Adam says theming makes a good ride. Cooper says a good ride should include theming. Theme park photography says a cohesive story. Um, airtime inversions and a themed queue. So surprisingly, a lot of people do put theming up there as making a quality coaster. Mm -hmm. um, bad ride, R the restraint says Gabuk Shki. Cool. <laughs> so, no, it's totally true though. But whack a lap bar on it and it's so much better. So in relation to what you just said about the theming, Jojo Hendrix says a ride without theming isn't making it worse, no. which is the opposite of what everybody well, else was saying. I wouldn't say it's the opposite. A ride without theming doesn't make it worse, but a ride with theming makes it better. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. By having theming, it doesn't lower how good the ride is. It just doesn't increase it. Mm -hmm. So I think the best answer is here from... Ryan and Morgan, and they say, what makes a good coaster? The company. <laughs> I'm going to take that as not the manufacturer and more the people you ride it with. Oh, which is probably not what they meant. I make. took it as but, who literally makes a good uh, coaster well, it, is the company who made it. That's, to be honest, some, some companies are more known for building reliable and <laughs> good or quality roller coasters. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to take it much more... Wholesomely. No, I think it could have been meant like that. I don't the think The company it did. you ride with. No. Because <laughs> to be fair, that does make quite a lot of difference. If I'm yeah. riding something on my own, then it's just going to be rubbish. Definitely. So uh, the company, if you want a wanna top coaster, ride it with some cool cool dudes. Um, Should we read Joel's one? Go, go on. It's tradition to read Joel's answer. <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> I've just read it. <laughs> These are really important, in my opinion. He's done a little uh, list for us here. Huge elements... Snappy inversions, inverted, white and blue sc colour scheme, themed to skiing, is at Bush Gardens, is called Alpen... I can't even say this Alpengeist. name. Alpengeist. Alpengeist. Thanks for that, Joel. Well done, Joel. Well done. Very insightful. Sammy Whammy says, pacing is a big one, but also having really fun... <coughs> well, let me say that again. <laughs> Sammy Whammy says, pacing is a big one, but also having really good individual elements and a fun layout as well um he says he tends to enjoy rides that are more unique definitely i agree with that and maybe even on more on the rougher side he says rough coasters don't automatically make a bad ride such as furious backer mystery mine and most woodies i think rough uh, i think uniqueness is a really good answer actually mm. yeah you know when when a ride is n like nothing else out there yeah it's like a rare sensation exactly it, it, you kind of Go into it not knowing what to expect, and that makes it better, for sure. Let's just do one more to finish. Uh -huh. um, Daniel Tonks says, maintenance. Even a little powered mine train can be great fun if kept together. Um, even Nemesis or Taron would be bad at rides if they were left to rot. That's very true. That is actually so true. Yeah. You need to care for your rides. Make sure they don't die. Definitely. So that's that then. We've discovered what makes a good ride. But in the end, <laughs> a good ride is what, whatever you want it to be, isn't it? Well, this is it. Whatever you enjoy from a roller coaster is a good ride for you. Um, 
that's the point. Well, that is the point, isn't it? But there you go. It, it does seem that most people... I feel like, yeah, there's some general opinions. There is a general consensus. But then we all vary a little bit on something else. Yeah. Or if you're Joel, you only like one line. Yeah. Go to happen, guys. <laughs>